Scott. Um, so it's like the last minute. I don't have any um, slides prepared for this. I was going to do it in the lightning session the other night, but I wasn't ready. Um, but as I've learned the slide deck etiquette throughout passwords, uh, the only real slide that I need is this one. <laughs> so alongside the site report URI that I run that does CSP and HPKP reporting, I built another little tool online to help me with some research. And it basically is just a little site that you can go to and it analyzes the HTTP response headers of any site that you type in. So you can get an idea for whether they're deploying things like CSP or HPKP, whether they issue the HSTS header. And there's a few other um, security-based headers that sites can issue. And it was quite simple, just you know, grab the headers, did a bit of color coding, gave you a bit of information, and it got quite a, you know, a little bit of traction. So I wanted to um, kind of rebuild it and relaunch it. Um, I took a lot of inspiration from anyone that knows the Equalis SSL test built by Ivan Ristic. The, uh, the whole grading system looked really attractive. It's quite nice that um, people kind of take these screenshots of poor scores and then can use them to encourage or hit organizations with uh, to try and improve things. So last night after these sessions, I launched the new version of my service, uh, which is up and available online now. And everybody can literally go and see this now. This is live, this is the new version. Um, I've, as I say, I've taken a lot of inspiration from the Qualys test. Um, so there's now a grading system on there. You can go to the site, type in an address, um, and literally within a few seconds, it will do the analysis. You'll get a grade. Uh, it gives you feedback on the headers that are implemented, that aren't implemented, uh, links to additional information and resources to read up on what they are and why. And it's literally, um, you know, a simple case. Oh, see, I was going to be neutral there, but so what? So where are we? Cl.cam. Is it? Is it AC? Yeah. So, oops, did I type something wrong? Is that? Did I type that right? Yeah. Let me try the one that I was going to use. So yeah, I'll have a look at that. Um, so yeah, you basically just type in the address that you want to use. Um, it's quite difficult to uh, kind of grade on redirects because some of the headers still apply, some of them don't. There's no content on the page. Um, so you kind of get this little the R score. Um, I still show this because there are some headers that do have value here and um, administrators may want to check whether or not they are issuing things. Uh, but if the site you're scanning does get a redirect, it, it puts this little line up here to say, you know, this was a redirect. You simply click to follow and it will then follow the redirect. Uh, some sites you know, do chain multiple redirects. I apologize for that. Um, but you eventually get to the score screen. Um, so in Qualys style, um, I kind of borrowed their, um, you know, their layout and their grading system here. Um, you just get a simple score. It lists the headers that are implemented that aren't implemented. Uh, you can view all of the site's raw headers, if there's any other information in there. I give feedback on uh, things like, you know, if the server header shows other information, there's a few others there as well. They don't affect the score, uh, they're just kind of advisory, that's why I put them in blue, they don't actually carry any weight in the scoring system. You get a little bit of feedback on missing headers, so it's also kind of like protocol specific as well, so there's, issue, there's some headers that you don't issue over HTTP, uh, like strict transport security, public keepings, things like that. So it is uh, context aware of the protocol the site served over. And you can link out to other sites, um, you know, blogs that have uh, information on what the header is. I've tried to keep kind of like simple one-line descriptions of what they are to, to be fairly user-friendly. If you want the additional technical information, then you have to click through out into links to other articles. Um, but the hope is that if you do things right and to try and drive people to do things right, you know, it is really pretty. Um, again, sticking with the whole color, <laughs> that color scheme thing here, the big A+. Uh, this is also mobile friendly. On the mobile site, it's actually quite nice because you can literally just grab a screenshot of like the summary section. It's perfect for tweeting, saying like, hey, why does my bank get an F? Um, so yeah, it's, um, I mean, this is just to, to try and kind of, you know, give people um, some information. It's, it's really fast, it's really easy. Uh, you know, you can look at this if you get an F, that, you know, there's no real reason. So I'm hoping that the, the new grading system now, rather than just like the basic text layout before, 
um, can kind of give you know people something to go to an organization with. Um, in the beta, uh, you know, I've, I've kind of already seen that this, this does work. Uh, during the beta, there were some sites that got like D grades that come up in orange. Um, and then the site admins look at that and think, oh, you know, I, I don't like this. This is, you know, this is terrible. I've got this D grade. It looks bad. I've got red things everywhere. Um, and during the beta, they actually went away and, and came back and are now like A grades. So, you know, this does work. I'm hoping this will go out to like a slightly bigger scale. Uh, and, and kind of give that encouragement and you know the information all in one nice concise little uh, report if you will so this is up now um, you know quick QA session guys try it out open it uh, scan some sites if we go back to the home page hopefully so yeah we can see that uh, all of these scans here are live so the recent scan just kind of cascades down uh, Hall of Fame ARA plus if you want to get in there again that will just cycle through recent sites it's very much like the Qualys SSL test, so if you have seen that, you'll be very familiar with the format. Uh, and hopefully, you know, if people are out there scanning now, we can just refresh and see there. We've got a few more. What have we got? Twitter.com with an A. Um, so yeah, that was it. I just kind of wanted to come up. I was going to launch this in the, as I say, in the lightning talk session, but uh, we didn't have time to get around to that. So I thought I would present it now. Thank you very much. <laughs> NSA.gov. <laughs> oh, that's terrible.